Well, hello everyone. I am here for another video and I have some sort of bad news. Well, I don't know, but it's about the Johnny's birthday story. I did say I was making part two and I do indeed have a part two and I was planning to do it today, but I was looking back and it's just not finished. And I know we were looking forward to it, but I wouldn't feel, I just wouldn't feel very nice send out an unfinished story. I think you'll appreciate it a lot better if I put more thought to it. Because it's supposed to be silly and crazy and stuff, but I want to work better on the writing itself. And that may require actually me working on the first one, too. So, I may put them together and then release a new and improved one. So I'll tell you, if I ever get around to doing that, you'll probably see the video of it. I hope I didn't disappoint you too much. So today I'm just doing a general video of stuff on my mind, and, well, I wrote a few new poems, and I will be reading my poems 43 to 47, and since I'm working on yet another story, I decided that I would tell you a little bit about it. Now that one's mostly just me rambling and stuff, so if you just want the poetry, you just want the poetry, but, because I've got some ideas of what you can expect from my new story. Now, it's not complete, neither is why half out, because I don't want to spoil anything for you. So this is just an example. It will just be an example of what it's like, and it will be after my story. And my, if you're wondering what this, after my poems it is, I'm sorry, I messed up. So if you're wondering what the story is about, well, that's hard to explain. It's a fan fiction. It's like Doctor Who, but then it has Doctor Strange and Thor, but I've, I actually even watched Thor, so it's ridiculous. You might wonder why I would do that. Well, I thought it was funny, okay? I just had fun doing it. It's not going to go in fanfiction, though. It's got a lot of other characters, too, as you'll see when I read the example. Love it. Um... Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Yeah, because I, I did watch Doctor Strange, though, on the 6th of May, and it was really good. I was a lot different than I was expecting, but it's better than I was expecting. So, in a good way. Plus, it was under two hours, so I did get bored of it. However, if there was a sequel, that would be really cool. Alright, now we... Now, yeah. Before I get off onto some other random subject, the poetry. Number 43, Where Are You? I know you're somewhere, but where are you? Is my dream to meet you not meant to come true? I searched for you everywhere, but you were never there. Will I know who you are when I look into your eyes? Or will the truth be a total surprise? I think when I see you, I'll know, even though you left me so long ago. So if you want to see me, just keep on waiting for the moment that we're both anticipating. There's no need for you to hide all those feelings deep down inside. I know everyone is, everything is about to change, and at first it will seem a little strange. But when we meet, everything will start to get better, so I will press on, even through the stormy weather. Number 44. Driving at night. The sky was dark and I was feeling alright, so I decided that we should go out that night. We drove under the pitch black sky, lit up by a harvest moon. Then I told you to hold on tight, because we'd be there soon. I stayed up not thinking I'd need any sleep, but then the sleepy feeling began to creep. I tried to get away from my nightmare, but I couldn't, even with you there. I saw myself with just a silhouette. My heart beat hard and I began to sweat. I had started off feeling so elated. Now I feel like I've just been sedated. People started to hurt me just to see from a lie. I wish I'd never gone on this drive. I didn't want to meet the others. They were nothing like me. All of our differences were quite easy to see. Most people have something to live for, but all I wanted to do was open up the door. I started to hear them whispering to me, hey, This is why I won't sleep, can't you see? So can you be with me until I die? Just promise that you won't cry. Please hold my hand as we go through the dark. I know, for you know that I truly missed the mark. I know I have to jump into the deep dark pit. I just don't want you to leave me until we're through with it. Whatever happened to my joy? Is there nothing left I can enjoy? Things will never be the same, and I'm the only one to blame. I'm no longer in the right place, and my only comfort is seeing your face, but the fun of this is starting to end, and I understand if you no longer want to be my friend. I'm sorry that I couldn't be saved, and that I never behaved. I just hope you know that the wheels will keep on turning, even though the light has stopped burning. Number 45, 
try not to hide. I don't like what's going on at all. These useless thoughts won't leave my brain. Every day I continue to fall. Why does everything cause me pain? I know I sound a bit selfish, but to me you keep giving in. How can I make just one wish, when I can never win? Maybe when it causes my insanity, but I just can't let go. I'm too afraid it's reality, and what I do not know. So I let way down on me, and we slowly become one. I can never become free because I've made choices that can't be undone. I will have to live in fear of everyone on earth, as I shed an air tear and knowing that I have no worth. I no longer have a choice, something's wrong inside, so just listen to my voice and try not to hide. Hurry up and take me away, I forgot how to relax. I can't last another day, there's no way that I'll survive these attacks. And finally, number 47. <laughs> Nothing lasts forever. Are we growing apart as we get older? I feel like you're giving me the cold shoulder. The silence is driving me insane. Oh, I'm so sorry if I caused you pain. All the warmth has fled from this room. The darkness of the shadows begins to loom. You're just not the same anymore. I'm starting to wonder what all of this is for. Maybe it's time for all of this to end. It seems you don't even want to be my friend. I guess I've lost something that I can't replace. Did I not give you enough space? Maybe I'm just too stupid to understand. I guess I'll just give up on everything that I planned. Every day I make another mistake. Couldn't you have just told me if you needed a break? I can't find you in any of the places you used to go to. I'm so confused and I don't know what to do. We've been through so much together. I guess it's true that nothing lasts forever. Alright, now for the crazy part. <laughs> I'm not going to try with these voices. A few quotes and two scenes that I will, that you can expect to see. Remember, this is not what's going to exactly be in the end product. It's just the kind of stuff that you can expect to see there. Anyway. <laughs> Thor chuckled. I'm radioactive, buddy. Well, both of you are ridiculous, said Mycroft, but I'm glad you've made an air friend, little brother. Just make sure not to do drugs anymore. Sherlock, you're a psychopath, said John Watson, who was behind Sherlock. What are you doing here, Sherlock said calmly as he slipped the mushrooms into his pockets. I live here, said John, sipping a cup of tea. Why do you have tea, Sherlock asked, still not turning to look at John. I was thirsty, said John. You should have had water then, Sherlock said. I didn't want water, John said. Then you weren't really thirsty, were you, asked Sherlock, standing up. Dr. Strange groaned. I think you hurt him, the doctor said. Oops, Thor said, looking at Dr. Strange. Would you like me to escort you to a hospital, best buddy? No, I hate hospitals, said Dr. Strange. Okay, and so scene one. I wonder why Dr. Strange didn't want to join me, said Thor as he walked into a gym. Well, it's time for me to change into my gym clothes. Thor walked into the changing room and immediately began stripping. He had only got his shirt off when a creepy guy walked up to him. Oh, hi, said the creepy guy. I'm Captain Jack Harkness. Can I have your phone number? Thor ran out of the change room without putting his shirt on and went to the complain to the lady at the front desk. Excuse me, miss, but there was a creep in the men's changing room. Can you please escort him off the property? The lady squealed. Oh my lord, it's Chris Hemsworth's good! He has no shirt on, please give me your autograph! Thor sighed. Stop using my name that way. I'm not Chris Hemsworth, I'm Thor Rodgers, and God of Thunder, but you embarrassed for dessert! Oh, you're such a good actor, the lady said. Wow, okay, I'll get one of security, man. You get that creepy guy out of out for you, sweetie. Pretend I'm in a security man and Jack Harkness escort from their property. There you go, Chris. Can I have your autograph now? The lady asked. I am not Chris, I am Thor, Thor yelled, and I will not give out autographs. He then went and changed in peace, but before he could start his workout, his phone rang. Ugh, he said, picked up his phone. Hello? It was Dr. Strange. Hey, my bus is stuck in traffic. Some idiot had a car accident, and now it's held everyone up. So? Thor asked, rolled his eyes and sticking out his tongue. I'm bored, said Doctor Strange. What the dude have to crash? Well, he's not stole the car, is he? Thor asked. I don't know, and I don't care. Why should I? Doctor Strange asked. You're a poopy head, said Thor. Where is this accident you speak of? Doctor Strange gave out the location. I will be a hero by flying over to save that guy, Thor said. Up, up, and away. He then hung up and flew through up through the roof of the gym. Darn, we just fixed that, said one of the employees, after some other guy did that. 
Thank God he's banned from here. You're welcome, Thor said. Delusional idiot, Tim Play shouted. I will remember that you said that, said Thor. Okay, and the second and final scene I have for you today. Fine, Stephen and I will fly out on our own, said Thor. Do not call me Stephen ever again, said Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange groaned. I think you hurt him, the doctor said. Oops, Thor said, looking at Doctor Strange. Would you like me to escort you to a hospital, best buddy? No, I hate hospitals, said Doctor Strange. Yes, I know I just read that, by the way. I repeated it in anyway, because this is from the full thing. A police siren was heard. Uh-oh, the police are coming, Doctor Strange said, and it's all your fault. He tried to punch Thor, but Thor jumped out of the way. My fault, Thor asked. I just arrived. Besides, if you punch me, you go to hell. <laughs> Doctor Strange shut his mouth. Hey, guys, let's slowly walk away like we're in an action movie, said the doctor. A police officer walked into the building and pulled out walkie-talkie. Hello? I need backup. There is a huge guy in here. We can't be seen by the officer, said the doctor. Er, I have an idea. We will fly out, said Thor. As you can see, I have a cape. Well, I have a TARDIS to get to, said the doctor. I can't leave her here. Here, fine! Stephen and I will fly out on our own, said Thor. Do not call me Stephen ever again, said Doctor Strange. Suddenly the TARDIS materialized near them. TARDIS! Why did you move by yourself? The doctor asked. The TARDIS door swung open and an ugly old lady walked out. Hello, weedy, she said, stumbled towards them. River Song! Are you drunk? The doctor asked. I want to get drunk, said Thor. Do you have any beer? Sweetie, I was in your TARDIS this whole time, and you didn't know it, said River. I knew it! I'm the one who tied you up in there! I tied Amy and Rory up, too, the doctor shouted. Sweetie, get in, River said. Okay, that's all. And yes, you may have noticed I did, in fact, repeat some lines. And that will be fixed up eventually, because I didn't realize they were doubles until I looked on here again. Because they were supposed to be replaced by this whole big thing, but somehow... They came before an actual thing and then came again. But don't worry, if I ever do another one of these again, it will be even better. With no repeats, unless I intended to have repeats. Oh, and by the way, none of that stuff makes any more sense in the context of the story than it does with me reading it to you right now. It, I'm just going insane right now. And you know what? I don't care. It's supposed to be funny. I'm not going to publish it, I'm just going to write it, bec I mean, like, publish on fanfiction, because, well, got to get my silly thoughts out somehow. Thanks for watching this, hope you enjoyed my poetry and possibly a weird story. Um, I will be working on that, and I'll also be working on Johnny's birthday, but I cannot say for sure when I'll have the second part out, because it needs a lot more work than I thought. So, once again, I'm sorry about that, and... Thank you for watching. Bye.